Why am I following a spaceman through the forest while I'm trying to solve a murder mystery? What the hell is this? Hey everybody, welcome to Casual Gaming with Chris. My name's Chris, a.k.a. Sparta Chris. Today we're playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is a game that I have heard a lot about for several years. Always been interested in trying and uh, finally doing it. Uh, this is the uh, Ethan Carter Redux one. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. So that just means it's been means it's been remade a little bit? I don't know. It's a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does that mean I'm not going to do well at this? Because I'm not the brightest boy. Oh, shit. But he knew who I was. When okay. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. Who's Paul Prospero? If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Okay. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. Cool. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. Uh oh. There are Gross. places that exist that very few people can see. Okay. Ethan could have drawn a map. Oh. I haven't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. All right. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. Oh, I'm Paul Prosper. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Yeah, what's it hiding from me? Oh. Tell him go into the light. Or is it going to the light? It's been a while since I've seen Poltergeist. Um, okay, so I can... I can dash with uh, the shift button. Okay, so this is going to be real, like, when they say it's not going to be hand-holdy. Oh! What the shit? Um, okay. Yeah, it's a trap. No shit. How long do I have to hold this? Okay. So, they say it's not hand-holdy. Is it, like, it's just really throwing me in the wolves here. Am I supposed to do anything with the knowledge that there's a trap here? Like, what do I do? I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Or what that does. The, like, blue thing? What does that mean? What is that? Okay. I'm just kind of looking... Ah! Another trap. Am I looking for, like, blood or something? Oh, there looks to be, like, a tiny little skeleton. Oh, there's multiple skeletons. Why am I seeing these skeletons? And why do they arc around in, like, a circle like that? That's weird to me. Hmm. Okay, so I'm finding stuff for not being handholdy. I'm I'm finding things. Okay, railroad, railroad, railroad. This seems bad. So would I would I have just followed this the whole time? Wait, what is this? Rocks. Oh my god. Not here. No. Oh. Oh, buddy! Yeah, uh, I sensed it. I sure did. Oh, it's starting to form a picture. Okay, so the more of these traps I find, it's forming a complete picture. Okay. Of something like crazy n nefarious that's gone on. 
S something out here is doing doing bad stuff. Man, that spooked me. I wasn't ready for that. How far? Okay, I was like, how far can you go here? Oh, there's definitely got to be something around this tree. Look at this. What's here? Is it going to be another pit? Or is it going to be like a... Something's going to spring and... There's like a noose thing around here somewhere. Like a rope trap. Huh? 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 Where's the trap? Nothing, huh? Gotta be here somewhere, right? Huh? That moss or blood? Oh, it's getting dark. It's dark over here. Well, there's lots of paths that bring me some minute amounts of concern. We'll follow this. This will lead me to something that'll scare me, right? Nothing? Nothing? Not a one. Not a single spook. Not a single scare. Bridge clothes do not enter. Well. You know me. I vow to enter. Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet. And nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. Huh. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. I feel like... I feel like I've just totally lost something. Like, I'm, I've got to be missing something, right? Like, if I'm already getting narrative and stuff, but I didn't complete my little circle of of scary that I missed something what is it what did I miss what I miss come on give it to me give it to me I'm just gonna run through it Ah! <laughs> I found it. Oh god. Oh. Scared the bejesus out of me. Okay. So I still there's still another trap to find though. God. Dang it, that scares me. So I should be able to like it feels like I should be able to see each trap. Near the other? There's a trap there, so I feel like there should be a trap over here. Oh yeah, there's that one, right there. So we found four traps. There's gotta be one more then. For sure. It's just, where is the last one? Shouldn't be... We didn't run into anything around here. So where is it? There's like a path over here. And we traveled it. Oh, no. We didn't go over here. Oh, it's going to be over here, isn't it? Oh, we did go over here. Okay. So where did we not go? Hmm. 
I'm backing up. Because I'm scared. All these jump scares. Nothing? This is just gonna be called Trap Hunter. Oh! I found it. Ah. I hate it. Oh. Well, that's a lot of, uh... It's a lot of crunchy bones. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Why is there so many bodies? Well, now I don't feel good. Oh, this was the tree that I was like, hey, there's got to be something about this tree. Sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believe this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for the treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. Ooh, the old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Grant... Yeesh. I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll hmm. read it later. Okay. Yeah, I, I read it. I read it. Oh, and now there's another thing to read. One dead house fire. Huh. Family six was asleep and blaze broke out. Um, wait, Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit script. Interesting. So does that mean that... Well, this has something about Van Dyke, um, Red Creek Valley. Huh. Oh, the, okay, so the Carters lived here. Yeah. So, does that mean that Carter's mom died? So, Ed, that we heard from there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Was Carter's father. So, it's weird that we, we, we physically saw Carter's poem play out. I... Okay. I guess I, I wasn't sure what I was expecting with this game, because I don't know much about it other than a lot of people like it. And that I know it's a mis mystery kind of thing, like a clue looking for stuff. I didn't expect a level of, like, um, surrealism. Or paranormal, possibly. But it looks like that's what we're getting into. So, great. Now I'm going to be extra spooked. That's perfect for me. That's not <laughs> what I was expecting or necessarily wanting to do. Oh. Oh, that's great. Blood. Hmm. Where is the crank? Okay, so I need to find the crank. Yeah, I, that's what I kind of figured out, is I need to find the crank. Oh. Oh, it's going to give me a glimpse of where it might be. Somewhere by the water. And you can see the dam. Which means... It's down there. Yeah, it's got to be down there somewhere. Okay. 
Uh, I wonder if I can get a better vantage point, exactly, of like... Oh, dang. Let me try that again. Can you make the circle for me again, if you don't mind? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and then there's something else to the left. So, if we're down here... If you can see... Can you see the dam? And you can see... Another structure there. So the crank's gotta be like, yeah, right down in this area straight ahead somewhere there, I think. Okay. Alright then. Enter. There's the crank right there. We don't need to look. <laughs> oh. works. My dog is barking. One moment, folks. Well, turns out Alo is just having a bad dream. <laughs> she barked herself awake. Oh my goodness. Dogs, man. Dogs. Why am I not able to move right now? What's happening? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so... At some point, I'm wondering if we need to move the train car, because otherwise I don't know why they would have put that there. But we do need to go down and find that crank, I'm assuming. So, let's... If there's a way... Huh? Can't go that way, huh? We'll start heading that way. Now, what is this? The rope. Huh. Okay. Interesting. This is a very interesting way to keep, like, think about the clues and stuff. It's like, having all the words pop up. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Holy Jesus. Well, somebody died here. Oh, that's a leg. Oh, those are two legs. Those are multiple legs. Alright then. That is a couple of legs. Well, Found our friend here. Yeah. Who is this? Do I wanna? Um. Huh. What did that do? I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to hold this. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Alright then. Just wonder who this is supposed to be. Yeesh. Okay. Let's keep looking. Um, I wouldn't have a... Phone or anything to call in a dead body? It seems like a misstep. I'm sorry I just coughed in your ears, everyone. 
My throat's really catching on stuff this morning. I had to do a lot of voiceover this morning, and uh, apparently I need to drink more water. Okay, so the crank's got to be down here, because I see there's that structure, there's the dam, so it's definitely down here somewhere. Yep. Uh, should be right over here, I think. There it is! Hey, crank. Oh, there's a lot of blood on that. A lot of blood. Alright, man. I don't know if there's anything else down here. Hmm. Might as well search, right? I wonder why they didn't throw it into the water, though. Like, if they wanted to get rid of this thing, why not toss it all the way into the water? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Let's pop up here and see what's up here. Oh, these are cool rocks. Bro. Oh, wow. This is all kinds of screwed up. Huh. Maybe I need to go back to the train car. Let's see if we can get back this way. You know, do a little exploring. Thing out here? Nope. Not so far. Oh, what's this? A thing? Yes, a thing. Is that a footprint? Fresh dirt. Oh, rock. Oh, rock is missing from there. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not it. Okay, which way is the rock? Yes, rock. <laughs> Over here somewhere? Right? Or what? Um, okay. I think I screwed that up. Yes, okay. So we look this way. Okay, where's this rock? Okay, a tree stump. Looking by the train tracks. There's a pole near the tracks. It's a two tiered tree stump. Man, that is not giving us much. Rocks on one side. The tracks are complete. Wherever this is, alright. Hmm. Oh, what else? Oh. So was the rail car here when it happened? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get the crank back over there in a minute. Hmm. So the rail car was here when whatever happened. Here's a pole. 
Do we see a two-tiered tree stump? Yes, we do. Here's the rock. And it's got blood. So this rock was used as a weapon for sure. Wait, the dude's head was bashed in. Okay. So I'm thinking dude was filling up the rail car or was or doing something and they got bashed in the head with the rock or something. Huh. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see if there's anything over here just for giggles. Nothing? All right, F fair enough, fair enough. All right, we got the crank. Okay, spinny, spin, spin, spin. Okay. All right, let's start moving it backwards. I want to get all the way to the uh, the area with all the blood. Let's take a look here. Let's go look at this guy's head now that we have the rock. Well, now we're seeing more of his picture now that we have the rock, so that's interesting. Or maybe it's just... Oh, we need to... explore different parts of him. can't see his other hand. That's weird. Very confused. It's like what we can do now. Hmm. Oh, there's his hand. It's just under his body. Like, it's different. Oh, like he was moved. Like, this hand was originally underneath him. Okay. So he had something in his hand. It got pulled out of his hand. Toss down here. He used the crank as a weapon. 
I think. He used the crank as a weapon. To hit his assailant. I think he did. Um, I wonder what we're supposed to do with the rail car here. I don't know what the rope is about just yet. But I'm starting to think that... So somehow he got tied down. Run over. His legs got run over. I think he was holding the crank. He hit his assailant with it. So the assailant's blood is on the crank. That's why when he was originally here, this other arm was underneath his body. His attacker grabbed the crank, threw it down there, tried to throw it into the water, didn't make it. Alright. I think that's what happened. I think we've got that part figured out. Okay. So now where do we go? So, I'm wondering where did this assailant come from originally? And where are they now? Gosh, there's so much forest back here. It's like... How would we ever know? Ooh, I don't like all these noises! I like getting up high so I can have a little bit of a vantage point and look down. This is my go-to in like any video game, regardless of what I'm playing, is to start high and work down low. God, this is huge, whatever this is. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, what do we find? A freaking grenade. Why wouldn't we? Let's take it. Why wouldn't we take a grenade? Beautiful. So why would there be a grenade here? Was somebody maybe military? I guess you don't have to be military to have a grenade. You literally buy one from somewhere, I'm sure. Um, I, I kind of wonder how many folks um they're like, oh my god, you're missing, like, the most important clues. Like, watching this, they're like, what are you doing, you idiot? God, I hate, I hate that tree creaking noise. I don't like that. We can stop with that. I feel like I'm exploring the forest moon of Endor right now. I'm waiting for a little Ewoks to come jumping out. And be like, ET me! And hit me with something. I don't know if all of the, the Ewok language is, but I know some of it's Tagalog. Which is kind of funny that they just took a, um... They took an existing... Um... Language. And George Lucas is like, ah, uh, nobody knows what Tagalog is. No one speaks that. We'll just use that. And the people of the Philippines are like, uh, excuse me. Excuse us. Uh, we speak this. Some of the folks in the Philippines, there's multiple languages over there. Tagalog is just one of the languages. I only know this because some of Rochelle's relatives were Tagalog. So that's what they spoke. But she does not speak Tagalog. She was learning it at one point, and then she was like, this is hard. I am done. <laughs> I 
I myself don't really know much about other languages, and and I'm not sure why I, I'm talking about languages. What the shit is this? What? Oh. Uh, why is there an astronaut? What? Okay, this has now... Where did you go? This now has completely thrown me for a loop and I have zero understanding of what's going on. Where did they go? Hello? Astronaut man? Where are you? Did I lose the astronaut? What the hell just happened? I'm trying to solve a missed murder and and all of a sudden I got I got a bunch of Time Lord stuff going on. What Okay. I don't understand this. Yeah. Okay, you must have gone behind these rocks, right? Yeah, there you are. This is timed. Yes, I see. Yeah, but what is happening? is going on why am i following a spaceman through the forest while i'm trying to solve a murder mystery what the hell is this what Is this an alien abduction game? What? What? <laughs> what? What is happening? I... What? This is not the kind of game I thought it was. It says I'm in a containment capsule. Well... What do I do? Oh! What? Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. When it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue and bright and purple blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between the two trees. 
The beast wanted to go home but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it could never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Okay, so that was me getting sucked into this guy's story again. Gaylord. Okay. So I did not... I did not just get abducted by a spaceman into space. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right, then. It sure felt like I did. And I was real worried there for a second that... Uh... That things had majorly gone off the rails and gone very wrong. But it turns out we're okay. We'll live to see Earth again. What is this? You don't have anything for me, huh? But you're still making the creepy noises out there. There's got to be a reason I ended up over here. Um. My goodness, that uh. That threw me. That was wild. That was really wild. That threw me for a loop. Somebody should have warned me about this game. I feel like I should have been warned what I was getting into. You guys, uh, you folks on YouTube, you gotta send me warnings. If I ever, uh, talk about what game I might do next, Please send me a message in Discord <laughs> and just be like, hey, excuse me. Your mind's going to get blown. Something something along those lines, please. You know? Hmm. Okay, so we got the little train station here. There's got to be some kind of clues here, right? I wish I had a jump. How do you not have jump in this? Let me jump. I was kind of expecting the clock to have some sort of clue. Clocks always seem like they should be clues. Not a single clue over here, huh? Wow. Alright, then. Doing like the, the dog show. Oh, I'm such a good boy. Well, this looks promising. Looks very promising. What do we have here? No trains have been through here for a long oh. time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Very cryptic. Nothing I can do here. Huh? Looks like there's a semi path, sort of. Not really, I guess. Hmm.
Okay, well. Anything over here? We haven't seen any clues for a while, aside from our spaceman. Which wasn't so much of a clue as a, um... Well, I take it back. Maybe it is a clue. Because it led us to the little hideout there, the little fort. Which was... Tied to Ethan. Inexplicably. Like a little hideout for him where he probably played like he was a spaceman. So there was obvi- oh, there's a place to go there, and then there's this place here. But this seems to be the more pressing kind of thing. Let's check this out. Ooh, pretty. Can't get in, huh? That's boring. Come on. There's gotta be something around. Give me some clues! Give me something to work with. Ethan, where you been? You not been back here? I wonder just how much I've screwed up this game. If you're frustrated with me, <laughs> let me know in the comments how frustrated you are. Those of you that have played this before and know how much stuff I've passed up. And I promise... Uh, I will, uh, not pay attention to it. <laughs> I'll look at it later because, uh, I, I record these way in advance, so I probably won't see it by the time, uh, I'm done. Yeah, I kind of feel like at this point, I have just completely left the area where I would find any, anything I need. But there's just so much to look at that I'm just... I, I, I really want to search and just make sure I don't miss anything. And I don't know what else to do with, like, the body back there, anything. Um, it didn't seem like there was anything else I could do with the dead body, which to me is kind of funky. Ooh, what is this? Rust? Blood? Not important enough for it to have text. So this is, um, running through the trees simulator. And now, we, uh, I guess, run across this bridge. And seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. We blame it on compulsion. Yeah, pretty far. Selfishness, madness. Is that where we started over I there? Suppose the idea is, if you name the thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Ooh. Oh my God, this is a beautiful game. Look at this. This is fantastic. Now we've got a town or something to explore up here. Let's see what that's about. Okay, I'm ready to I'm ready to explore this creepy old house. That I'm Oh my god, there's so many creepy old houses. Oh, I'm so ready for this. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be great. Uh, I think... So, a singlet must have been living in one of these creepy old houses. Or something. Had to be, right? Can't peep through the windows, huh? Oh, please tell me we can go in. Oh, we totally can! Yes. Uh, 
Okay, before we read that and then probably get sucked into another crazy dream, um, I think we'll pick this up on a part two episode. Oh, this is the town that burned down. This is uh, the story from the newspaper. This is the place that burned down. Yeah. Wow, okay. Jeebus. Goodness gracious. Um, this is crazy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Creepy things. All right, well, I'm enjoying this. I love this. Just trying to see if anything's written on the walls, maybe. Mayhaps. Nothing. All right, well. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, let me know in the comments, like, um, if you if you caught me missing things, let me know. I'll probably catch it too late. But, like, you know, reprimand me anyway. I probably deserve it. I deserve to be reprimanded for my misgivings, my shortcomings. And just know that I love you. And that I hope you... Remember to keep things casual. If you don't, I'm going to burn down your whole town. See ya.